some tree identification today. This is Acer Nagundo, the box elder, the ash leaf maple, one of the most common trees in the north in uh, North America. I believe it's one of the. It might be the only tree that's native. I think it's native to like almost every continental state. Uh, it has a very wide range, super adaptable, really tough tree. This is a tree that grows in like fences, you know, like chain link fences and there's like a tree growing through it um, and it's been cut like 18 times. That's, that's what box elders do. They're freaking tough. Uh, right now it's flowering here, but look at the shape of this tree. Just look at the like canopy, right? This tree is growing as much sideways as it's growing up. It's, well, maybe not this one. This one's kind of tall. But uh, but often they'll grow more horizontally than vertically. They, they can make some very long branches. And it, and it looks like that's a thick branch. But I bet if I hung on that branch, I could snap that whole thing off. They're super brittle. Let's look a little closer at these flowers. They're pretty cool, I think. They're just out for a very short window, just maybe a week to ten days, and then they're going to come out. And the leaves, it's too early to see them, but they're just starting to emerge. But these leaves, when they come out, they're they're uh, a compound leaf, and they, they're opposite each other, just like all maples. But they look like poison ivy. Um, they're like almost exactly like poison ivy. And then they have like, a lot of people think they look like ash leaves, which they do. Um, so it's called ash leaf maple, and people will sometimes confuse it with ash. But there's a few different ways you can tell it's not ash. One is it's going to make uh, a seed that looks just like a maple tree seed. Um, that it's a it's uh, it's shaped just like a sugar maple, except it's more like downward. Um, if you see them, it's obvious it's maple. But the other thing is, look at these stems. You see the color of the new growth? It's like green, right? The weirdest thing is it's green now, but in the winter, it's purple. I swear to God, it's true. It makes these purple shoots in the winter. The The new growth on box elder is, is a beautiful purple with this kind of white down on it. It's one of the most beautiful things I've seen trees do is box elder's new growth stems in the winter. Check it out if you have some box elders near you, which you probably do this shoot still has some purple on it it's it's definitely more common in the really vigorous shoots see this let's see if we can get around to it look at that i like all the moss growing on this tree but uh yeah it's like a light purple the camera's not really showing it i feel it's pretty cloudy right now but anyway uh that's a box elder stem it's going to be opposite branching just like all maples and people don't really like this tree for a lot of reasons. One is it breaks branches easily. It doesn't grow big and tall like a sugar maple. Um, it doesn't live as long. They're just kind of thought of as junk trees. The wood is pretty, is fairly useless for uh, most like commercial purposes. Uh, mostly because the trees don't grow straight. Uh, for firewood, it's really light. It's not anything like hard maple. And people don't really use it for much at all. But it does produce a lot of biomass. And it definitely sucks up a lot of carbon. So I'm grateful for the box elder. I like seeing them here. And I like the way they grow so like sideways all the time. They really like floodplains and like stream sides especially. Um, but they'll grow anywhere. Alright, thank you. Oh, one thing I forgot to say is because it is a kind of maple, it does have a sweet sap, and you can definitely drink it and make maple syrup from it, and it's not that different from sugar maple. Any of the maples you can tap. All right, thank you.